Your first assignment is to create a caregiving team. There are three steps to this process. Number one, qualify informal caregivers. Number two, align all caregivers to meet healthcare standards. And number three, share your patient better program with all those who participate in your care. The qualifying participants for the Patient Better program are people who help with the daily activities of care that are not compensated and have no formal training for their assistance. This may include yourself, parents, guardians, or anyone that's considered as an informal caregiver. An informal caregiver is referred to as a person who is unpaid, who has no formal training, but aids and supervises in the daily care of another in need. In recent years, our new digital healthcare world has allowed us to capture a lot of health information that we've never been able to before. A matter of fact, there was so much information, we needed to organize it and protect it. And that's when Bill Clinton signed into law the Health Insurance, Portability, and Accountability Act of 1996, which was created primarily to modernize the flow of healthcare information and to stipulate how personally identifiable information was maintained by the healthcare and healthcare insurance industries and how this information should be safeguarded to protect people from fraud and theft. There are five titles to this act. But as for today, we will focus on Title II. Title II requires the Department of Health and Human Services to increase the efficiency of the healthcare system by creating new standards for the use and dissemination of healthcare information. Patient Better has defined roles for at-home caregivers for you to communicate with your team. This will enhance the ability for caregivers who have limited contribution capabilities as well as create a hierarchy of responsibility so that everybody will be on the same page for as far as who does what. The next step is to put caregivers into the Patient Better system. This is everyone that partakes in the delivering of at-home care, including yourself. Then, the qualified caregiver becomes a contributor and documented in the contributor cover page. There are three types of contributors on your healthcare team. The first is a clearinghouse, which act as overseers or the team lead. The second are primary caregivers, who are qualified informal caregivers, such as neighbors, drivers, family, or friends. And lastly, are secondary caregivers, who are caregivers associated with a company, such as home health providers or non-medical home care representatives. The clearinghouse is the contributor who may or may not have the lion's share of treatment participation, but nevertheless is considered your team's leader and the primary overseer of the Patient Better program. This individual collects, transfers, organizes, and submits both standard and non-standard information. The clearinghouse could be either the patient or the person that has guardianship or both. Primary caregivers are informal caregivers who can transfer the self-help manager and submit non-standard information and collect standard information as well. This role is held by family, friends, or neighbors. The last group are secondary caregivers who are caregivers that can transfer the self-help manager and submit non-standard and standard information. This role is typically held by representatives of companies that deliver care in your home. These are the three roles that everyone will play as defined by Patient Better.